Greetings, Sears. We're here at Smart Wind Waker HD, and look, it's just me, King Red Lions. That's right. No, I'm just kidding. It's like, anyway, we got some spooky other in front of us. That's right. Here's our destination. We saw it in the last episode. So let's set sail to it. It looks kind of creepy. There's a giant overcast of bad stuff, so that generally means bad. Beetle, get out of there. What is he doing? Beetle, you're going to get caught up in all this mess. Oh, boy. All right. Uh, look, Link, do you see it? Do you see how the weather instantly changed? This is not natural. <laughs> what has happened to this place? Mm. Oh boy, should we go check it out? Great Fish Isle. Looks, uh, kind of bad. Wh what is the meaning of this? The island, it is... We are too late. I knew I knew what we had a uh, precious little time, but I never suspected how little. A great water spirit named Jaboon once lived here, but no sign of him remains. Oh boy. Uh, hoy there, Link! Uh, it's a mailman, for sure. Oh, I'm gonna get freaking electrocuted! I gotta find land! <laughs> the lightning's happening and stuff! My dude! You know, I thought it was you who sent that postcard in the last episode, but I guess it wasn't. So you're here! I've been looking for you. Are you by chance seeking the great spirit Jaboon? How do you know these things? I'm starting to report that, uh, to you that Jaboon can no longer be found here. Just look at how, uh, this place has been torn to pieces. I suppose this, too, is the work of the Shadow and the Forsaken Fortress. But fear not, Jaboon was able to flee this island before it was attacked. He is in a safer abode now. Oh, well, that's good for him. Uh, would you uh, like to guess where that abode may be? I mean, I already know. On the island you were born, on Outset. <gasps> we're turning to Outset? Yet, yeah, even if you were to go to Outset now, you would not, uh, you would not be able to see Jaboon. The cave where he lies is sealed away with a mighty stone slab that repels all who try to pass it. Don't ask me how we got in there with that there. Why, not even the pirates with their mighty ship could get in. I must apologize, Link. I thought if anyone would know of your whereabouts, it would be the pirates. I told them this tale without so much as a thought for the consequences. I don't know why they, uh, I don't know what they'd hoped to get, but they immediately set sail for Outset Island and tried to break into the cave. It is lucky they could not gain entrance. I have heard that they were last spotted on Windfall Island, but doing what, I do not know. If you wish to see Jaboon, I think you better search for the pirates on Windfall Island. Yes, the pirates return. <sighs> what an eerie isle this is. Everywhere else bo uh, boasts clear skies and calm seas, but this place suffers under dark clouds and rain. Balu must have uh, been right when he asked me to bring you a uh, word of Jaboon to you. He called this island cursed. Oh yeah, that's right. Curse time. I would counsel against staying here uh, longer than you have to. But uh, that is your decision. I have told you of Jaboon, so my task is complete. All right, thanks, mailman. I like how you're always looking out for me. You're, you're a bro. You're a bro, mailman. You are such... You're a homie. All right, so he said no, uh, there's no reason to stick around here, but I think there is... Um, there is no reason, but I think... Okay, no, he's not here yet. There is actually something that comes uh, comes into play later with this island, but we'll just leave for now. All right, so Jaboon has survived. The sea spirit has lived through trials of many long years. He must have caught wind of Ganon's attack beforehand. If we are to believe the words of the Rito Postman, then the pirates know something about the cave where Jaboon hides. Why don't we go to Windfall and search for them there? Yeah, not a bad idea, Mr. Uh, Mr. King of Red Lines. So let's see if we can um, just change the wind to, I believe we're trying to go northeast. Yes. All right, northeast ho, let's get out of here. So is it going to play what I think it's going to play, the epic music? I don't know if it will. Uh, does it play it? I guess not yet. Okay, not yet. Not yet. There is a really cool, um... Oh, no, it is. Yes, here it is. The Cursed Sea. I freaking love this music so much. It's the only time in the game when it plays, and it's like a scary version of the Great Sea, and I love it. And it only plays right now. Just listen to it. It's so good. It's just like... Oh, it just... It's something about this theme hits so hard for me, and I love it. Okay, so we're heading to Windfall Island. Yeah, we're heading, we're like literally going straight there. We're gonna probably stop this island, but oh my gosh. I just wanna take this second just to appreciate. This is just like so cool. This part of the game is so sick to me. Like just going through the storm, just braving the storm, going through it. Look at him. Look at Link and the King Red Lines. They are unwavering. They're just heading and going. Oh gosh. And there's freaking sharks. I forgot about these dudes. Also, yes, it is, um,. They did change. I, I believe they definitely changed because I have tried to throw the boomerang um, and also say at the same time, they just completely removed it. It's very sad that they did that, but you know what? I don't really care that much. Oh my gosh, this is what I think it is. All right, fine. Uh, you see that little head up there? 
That is freaking Tingle Island. So you know what? Definitely now is the best time to get this registered so we don't have to ever do it again. All right, and Tingle Island. Look at that. It's even shaped like his head. What a narcissist. What the heck? Egotistical jerk. <laughs> uh, let me tell you a little something about that island over there, small fry. The guy who lives there is named Tingle, but he won't grow up and act his age. He still dresses like a little kid. That is not normal. Still, from what I hear, he can decipher maps like nobody's business. It just goes to show that you can't judge a person by on appearance alone, Fry. Of course, the thing about this Tingle guy is that when it comes to pay uh, his deciphering fee, you better be ready to fork over some serious dough. Anyone who doesn't have a deep wallet won't be reading any maps, that's for sure. Yeah, we gotta get our wallet upgraded if you ever wanna go talk to Tingle. And that's all the info I've got to offer. If you wanna hear it again, you'll have to th Yeah, okay, shut up, fish. I'm on my way to Windfall. I gotta go save freaking Jaboon or whatever. Go talk to Jaboon. Tingle, we are not making a pit stop for you. I'm sorry, but I'm gonna leave you at your own island to starve to death because there's literally no food. You're gonna have to eat choo-choo jellies for the rest of your life because I'm heading to Windfall right now. All right, looks like we're getting awful close to Windfall. It's right within sight. Oh, we can even see their ship. Did you notice it on the lightning strike? Hold on, it's on the left. Come on, strike again, you freaking... Come on, lightning. There it is, you see the ship? That's their ship. There we go, the pirates are here. Beetle's here too, dude. Freaking Beetle, I swear he's everywhere. He, it's not just because he's, there's definitely like a hundred different ships that are placed around the island. No, he's just everywhere. He just like follows me everywhere. He's like, <laughs> he's just my biggest fan. That's what he is. Uh, it's just as the postman told us. The pirate ship has stopped here to avoid drawing the attention of the townsfolk. Um, really? I do, not want, no, I do not know what they are researching, but if they are hoping to get their hands on Jaboon's, uh, Jaboon's sacred gem, I doubt that they would tell you anything directly if you were to ask them. Link, I think what you should try to do, uh, try to, I think you should try to find out what the pirates are up to, without them finding out about you. Okay, yeah, I mean, yeah, dude, yeah, I can do that. Um, so yeah, the pirates, they've invaded the island, but where the heck could, ever could they be? Beetle, he's just going and chilling, like the good old Beetle he is. Oh, the frickin' mailbox, hold on, hold on real quick. Good evening! Letter for Link, we have one letter. Here's your letter. <laughs> All right, give me that thing, sneeze it out. And it is a, um, if you wish to be a true swordsman, find some night crests and return to me. Orca. <laughs> yep. And Red Ruby, thanks, dude. Yeah, so that, again, it, it, he, I'm glad he sent us that because that's uh, kind of like the start of a mini side quest. But anyway, oh, why is this light on? I wonder why. Ooh, I never could know. Okay, I believe if I roll into this tree, it'll give me a joy pendant. Uh, no, okay. I know there's a tree around here. I forget which one it is, but I swear if I roll into it, it gives me a joy pendant. I feel like it's like one of these ones. It's not this one. I know there's a one, that I, th I wanna think it was that one. Uh, maybe it's behind the island, or maybe behind this little area. But anyway, if we're kinda try and go spying on the pirates, we're gonna have to, you know, sail on behind here and just go see what the heck they're up to. Because I don't know, dude, this, 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 this building has some stuff in it. And I purposely didn't show it off just so that in case you've never seen the game before, I don't want you to get any any ideas about what the heck is actually <laughs> could jump right off. What is actually in this little building here? Anyway, um, yeah, I guess maybe maybe it's just because uh, it's a story moment where I can't get the joy pendant, but I swear it's right there. All right, let's see if we can sneak on in here and go check out what the pirates are doing. Oh boy, here's the theme. All right, Tetra, Gonzo, Nico, Zuko, and the rest of you guys, what are you up to? Oh, that's cool, you just kidnapped people, that's awesome. Oh, and you're stealing stuff, that's, I mean, you are pirates. Uh, look, don't be mad at us. It's not our fault that we uh, absolutely gotta have bombs to get the treasure we're after. How about you just think of it as payback for those nasty little, mon uh, for the nasty little monopoly you've been running here, yeah? Uh-huh, I guess that's Zuko who's talking. Uh, so I bet you think it, uh, it was foolhardy to ask pirates to pay such an outrageous price, huh? Yep, I bet you are. Jeez, what did they do to Richard Rat? I swear. You know, Gonzo, I still can't get over that bit of fast-talking you pulled to get that information out of the postman. Um... Huh? Oh, oh yeah, that was smooth. <laughs> really? I'll tell you, the minute I set my eyes on that link, I just knew he was hiding something back at outset, yeah? So when I saw that postman, I just pretended like I was all worried about all uh, the kid and stuff. And presto, he spills the beans. Uh-huh. Uh, good work, Gonzo. Really, just top-notch. It's funny, though. I'm thinking this is maybe the first time you've shown such wit. Such cunning. Um, you know, with your cunning and Miss Tetra's smarts, if you two got married and had a kid, that kid would be the greatest pirate to ever sail the seas. Yep, the greatest. The, you idiot. Keep your mouth shut, yeah? Don't be so stupid. <laughs> Miss Tetra, are you listening to this nitwit? 
Can't you dock him some pay? Uh, dock him some pay or something? Uh, Tetra does not care. Quit goofing off, both of you. She does not care. Keep your childish jokes to yourselves. Get those bonds back to the ship. The second you're done loading them up, we're setting uh, we're setting sail for Outset Island. Uh, what, Miss? We have to leave immediately? But it's been so long since we were on shore. <laughs> we need to fill our bellies with some good eating, yeah? How about we grow up tonight and shove off tomorrow morning instead? Um, I mean, uh, I'm fine either way, of course. Whatever you say is fine, miss, is what I mean to say. Um, it's just that the boys were so excited to come to town, yeah? And I can't help but think it would be awful hard on them to leave so soon without a proper layover. Uh-huh. So, what we said, uh, what say we set sail tomorrow, yeah? What do you say, miss? That treasure isn't going anywhere. That treasure? Uh, who, you're with me, right, boys? Who's not, uh, who's for a night of fun? Uh-huh. <laughs> all just like, nope. Uh-huh. Where's Nigo, dude? You're all fools. Don't you know, uh, do you know that? You saw that demolished island. You saw the sense of destruction. We have to hurry on to outset, or the same thing could happen there. Uh-huh. Where my frickin' grandma lives? Huh? Not to be disrespectful, but by the sound of things, you're worried more about that island than the treasure, miss. Uh-huh. Don't be ridiculous. I want, you know, the treasure. Uh. Tetra? Uh. <laughs> Frickin' Tetra, she knows we're here. Alright, fine. Have it your way. We can leave town tomorrow, you big babies. But we're setting sail at first light, so no sleeping in. Understood? Uh, Aye, aye. <laughs> uh huh. Well, I guess you guys all get to enjoy some food. Uh, say there, brother. What was it today's password again? Uh, Mako. Oh, that's Mako, not Zuko. I guess Ma Zuko's the upset one. Mako, are you serious? You forgot already? You're so useless. <laughs> today's password is Swabbies, yeah? Remember? Uh, you know that Nika won't let you in if you don't say it exactly right. He's real picky about it, so I'll say it once more. Um, today's password is Swabbies, yeah? Okay. Um, jeez, poor guy. Swabbies, eh? Okay, then. Um, that poor shopkeeper. He's <laughs> just all trapped up in there. Jeez. Okay, well, let's hop on down here. The pirates are gone. Um, can I help you out here, dude? I guess not. I guess I just have to leave him. We're just gonna ditch him? Really? <laughs> I thought we actually got to rescue- Oh my gosh! Okay, he, I guess he really did have enough. We're just stealing his money. We're actually just stealing his money. Hold on, do they all have the- Oh my gosh. The loot. The amount of loot in here. <laughs> I don't even know what I started with or what I ended with. Jeez, okay. Let's get the heck out of here. There we go. So, um, guess we're going to have to go invade the pirate ship because that's just what we got to do. So the pirates are out here apparently eating, even though there literally is no restaurant on the island. I'm trying really hard to think about... Well, no, never mind. There is a restaurant. I'm, I'm wrong. No, I'm wrong. There is a restaurant on this island, so that's probably where they are. Actually, I never checked. I don't think we can even go in, but I wonder if we go into that restaurant, will they be there? I don't think they will. I'm pretty sure it's probably locked, but like, I, I think it's just supposed to assume. Like, this is the restaurant right here. Um, closed for an all-night pirate party. Yeah, okay, there we go. <laughs> They're closed literally for the pirates. That's a nice touch. I never even tried, like, going to see if we could, uh, even go see them. Alright, let's hop on on here. I should probably, uh, I always have a habit of having the deck leap right there, so I should always keep that. Okay, so we gotta enter a password or something. Alright, right here, we, here we go. Uh, who cleans pirates' ears? Um, I guess Swabbies? Oh, let me just type this in here. S-W-A... Oh, hold up. That is not... I said capital, please. S-W-A-B-B-I-E-S... S. Swabbies. All right, right. He may enter. Okay. I feel like it was a little bit more difficult than that, but maybe I'm just misremembering. All right, so Nico, though. Nico, huh? Oh, snap. We could go check out Tetra's quarters because that guy's not blocking it. And there's absolutely nothing of interest. Wow, Tetra. Nice Triforce you got on there. That's pretty cool. Everything else is kind of lame. Wait, who's that? Who that? Uh, I don't know who that is. <laughs> oh, nice picture of me. That's pretty awesome. I have a picture of me up there. I guess it's supposed to be like the hero or whatever. Maybe that's why she pointed out how clothes are, how her clothes were funny. All right. Nico, my man, what's going on? <laughs> I'm surprised to see me. Oh, I link my old swabby link! <laughs> so you're alive? All oh, the other pirates said you uh, said you got done in by that bird monster in the Forsaken Fortress, so I thought. 
Never mind what I thought. You're alive! Oh, I get it now. You came back because you missed me so much. I had no idea you wanted me to, uh, wanted to be my swabby so badly. I see, I see. <laughs> well, after you left, I went to, uh, back to being the bottom rung on the ladder, which is why I'm stuck here while everyone else is in town having fun and eating and stuff. Are they gonna bring you back any food or are they just gonna make you starve? Oh. But I guess being so worshipped by my swabby ought to cheer me up. All right, why don't we set? Uh, why don't why don't we set you to your next test, huh? This ne uh, this one is harder than the last. Good luck. You'll need it, swabby. Um, you can see that there are lanterns hanging throughout the room, right? Well, last time you pressed the switch, platforms rose up for you to jump onto, right? Yeah. Well, this time there aren't any, which means you have to jump from one rope to the next rope. Pretty tough. Yeah, I don't know. I think I got the hang of it. There he goes again. And that's not all. This time I put a gate on this door too. The switch opens the gate, but it'll close if you don't get there before time runs out. Run out of time and you'll have to try it again, little swabby. Okay, Nico. I get it. There we go. And he just heads on in there. You just locked yourself in, dude. How are you gonna get out? That switch that opens the gate is in the same place as before, so go step on it. If you get uh, all the way inside, all the way to this side before the time runs out, I'll give you the bombs we got in town. Yeah, you heard me. Give it your best shot, Swabby. All right, so we gotta get bombs. Is that what you're after, Nico? Okay, I got you. All right, so unlike the other one, this one's actually kind of tough. So we gotta open it up here real quick. Then we can let Nico out. He's literally just enslaved right there. So here we go. We gotta quickly um, start swinging. This is actually pretty tough, if I remember correctly. Um, and I don't know how much time we have, but I feel like we're gonna have enough time. There we go. Let's like shimmy on down. It's kind of hard to like. See, th these like move too. It's like really weird. Hold on. I'm gonna see if I can catch it pretty early. All right, so hold on. Nah, okay, I'm not catching it. Hold on. There we go. Okay, I, I forgot I can like manipulate myself a little bit. That's kind of good. Okay. Uh, no, stop climbing up. I didn't want to do that. I'm gonna waste my time, dude. I'm gonna waste my time. Hold on. All right. All right, all right, all right. Come on. Come on. One more, one more. One more, I'll do it. One more, I'll do it. I might be able to get it first try. No, are you kidding? I move back. Ah, oh, dang it. <laughs> I glitched it, dude. I freaking glitched it. <laughs> I cheated so hard. <laughs> I cheated so hard, dude. Hold on. I freaking cheated that so hard. I did not deserve to catch that. That was so funny. Okay. Uh, careful. All right, I'm going now. There we go. Got it. Okay. I think I got it this time. I think I got it. Let's just line ourselves up. There we go. And just go on swinging. I cheated that so hard. I did a backflip and then I just landed on it. But like, <laughs> it looked like it made me go forward. It was so weird. Oh my gosh, I cheated this so hard. Nico, you didn't see uh, you didn't see anything. You didn't see anything, Nico. You did not see me just cheese this. <laughs> I've never done that before. That's so funny. Okay, Nico, you definitely you saw nothing, right? I'm just your, you know, respectable, honorable swabby. What? You've got to be you, you did it already. <laughs> you you're incredible. This isn't good. I've never been, uh, never even passed this test. How can you do it so quickly and make it look so easy? Oh, I cheese it, dude. And if I give this to him, everyone will know for sure. Oh, I'll be so busted. Uh, okay, you're the best swabby of all time. So I guess I'll just give you the bombs. Go on, take them. I just don't tell anyone, okay? I'm serious, really serious, okay? Okay? Okay, Nico, I got you. <laughs> I'm gonna run for my life! I can't live here anymore! <laughs> Alright, thanks Nico for your promise. He's such a nice guy. What a, what a very nice teacher. But there we go. The bombs are ours. You got the bombs. You can carry up to 30. Pull one out and press A extra and throw it. That's right. Try it out. It's a blast. Haha, <laughs> funny puns. Use bombs while on your boat. Gives you a mighty cannon you can use to fight off sea going enemies. Yep, there we go. So now we can use. Oh! That's, uh, that's my courageous of you, trying to steal treasure from pirates. Um, hello, Tetra. I suppose I should be shocked, but I'm more amazed that you managed to survive it for being tossed out of that tower. From the look on your face, I guess you haven't saved your sister yet, huh? You don't give, uh, you don't give things much thought, do you? You just rush in, never thinking how badly things could go for you. Like just now, the only reason you got, <laughs> you got what you did was because we left a simple-minded little rat like Nico behind to look after things. Oh, Nico. Look at him, he's like, Rrr. no one else would have parted with our treasure so easily, I assure you. And just, uh, just how do you intend to use those bombs anyway? Don't tell me you're going after Jaboon's treasure too. Right now, Jaboon is hiding in the, uh, in, the in the cave at the back of the island that you were born on. But the entrance is blocked by a giant stone doorway. You can't get in without breaking down the door. 
We're gonna relax in town and eat our fill of whatever uh, this town has to offer, but we'll be leaving for Outset first thing in the morning. If you manage to find Jaboon tonight, then I guess you win. But if you take too long, we'll come sailing right, uh, right by you tomorrow morning. And believe me, you didn't get all of our bombs. You better be quick, kid. <laughs> okay, Tetra, I mean, I feel like you kind of did that on purpose. Anyway, Nico, thanks for talking to me. Wow, awesome! You have a stone just like the one Miss Tetra has! Hey, how do you use that thing? Can you talk to Miss Tetra through that? Man, you're so lucky! Yeah, I sure am, Nico. Uh, for some reason, the uh, freaking King of Red Lions can talk to me through it, too. Um, can I break these open, actually? Okay, I was about to say, can I rob the pirates of even more of their treasure? Jeez, no. I wouldn't do that. That's too much. I gotta say, I'm pretty surprised how much Tetra was, like, just watching. Was she just, like, watching dinner in a show? She just eating her frickin' cheeseburger and fries? She's like, haha, look at, look at Link. <laughs> just one-upping Nico every step of the way. Sidestep! I'm so good. I'm so freaking good, dude. I didn't even need to do that. Alright, no fall damage, that's right. Alright, where are you, King Red Lions? Oh, I know you are, because I went into a different area, you should be- There you go, you're at the port. There we go, so now- oh, The mailbox again? What's up with you, dude? Alright. Good evening! Letter for Link, we have one letter. Here's your letter. Yes, give me the freaking letter sneeze. Sneeze that thing out, and... Notice from Beetle Shop Shop. Oh, Beetle! Okay, it's time for our semi-annual Big Chance Extravaganza. We have a new product that has uh, a burst on the scene. Bombs! We're having an extra special sale on this item, uh, this choice item for a limited time only. You know where to find us by checking the uh, unclosed Beetle Shop Ship Chart. Uh, okay, I don't have one of those, actually. Don't miss this huge opportunity! Okay, um... There we go. Okay, now I have the Beetle sh uh, chart, which is pretty cool. All right, so let's get these bombs already. We're going to have to use these wherever the heck we're going. And by wherever the heck we're going, I mean... Actually, I should change the wind. We have to go completely down to the south. Because Outset is actually quite a um, quite a distance from us. So we're going to have to um, do a little bit of traveling off screen, I think. So let's get ready to do that just a little bit. But you know what? Oh, oh I thought I saw the moon there for a second, but I guess not. All right, King of Red... Um, people. <laughs> King, hey, uh, well done. Our preparations are complete. If what the girl says is true, the pirates won't be leaving until morning. You must meet with Jaboon and get the pearl from him before they arrive. Let us delay no longer, Link. Okay, I feel like Tetra actually just gave us a chance. That was very kind of her, but you know what? We're heading to Outset Island. We get to hear this cool song again, but you know what? Probably not too much because we actually have so long to travel. This is actually going to take me like... Probably like almost 10 minutes just to get down to outset. Maybe not that long, but like at least five for sure. All right, I'll see you when I'm at least getting close or if something happens in between, I'll see you then everybody. So let's just cut to what happens. Oh shoot, what the heck, dude? A foolish creature who does not uh, fear the gods. To the end of the sea with you. Let the so wind of the Cyclops' wrath blow you away. Okay, yeah, this is his freaking brother. All right, so there's nothing that we can do to get out of this thing, so unfortunately we're just gonna have to, you know, get caught. It kind of sucks, but you know what? Listen to his frickin' voice. <laughs> a stupid frickin' frog. All right, where'd you take me? Please don't tell me you blew me super far away. Where am I? Um, what the? Oh, Link, are you all right? I've seen that the wind god Cyclops bears some ill will towards humans. As you go forward, it would be wise to not get sucked up by any cyclones as you see upon the seas. But if, all, if only we could get away to harness the power of those cyclones, then it might be possible for us to travel across the ocean instantaneously. You do not have an item that could pierce distant targets. If you did, you might be able to obtain such a power. Keep that in mind. Alright, dude. Uh, well, now I'm super far away from my target once again. Uh, this sucks. This actually, that actually really makes me a little bit upset. I didn't think he would, um... I thought I was sailing uh, far away enough for him not to catch me, but oh my goodness. Now I have to go completely sail west, because on the map, we are about four squares away, and about a square takes like a whole minute to travel through, so this is going to probably take another four minutes, even though I was so close. I was literally like one island away, and then freaking Frogman was like, hey dude, let me waste more of your computer space by making you record nothing except King of Red Lions going straight for four minutes. <laughs> Okay, we're getting close to another island here. Look at this one. This one's all like covered in fog or something. Looks kind of cool, like ice and stuff. It's interesting. We saw a volcano and we saw an icy one, but real quick, I'm just gonna go talk to the fish of this area, and then we'll just keep on moving because we might as well stop while we while we have the chance. So this place is called Ice Ring Isle. Looks kind of cool. Looks kind of like an ear, actually. That was kind of strange. Looks like a freaking ear. All right, fish. Ah, uh, there's this amazing treasure inside that freezing ring of ice over there. 
But even if you wanted to, uh, even if you wanted it and tried to get inside, you'd just be frozen solid as soon as you approach the shore. But if you go to four squares north and three squares west, you'll find the power to melt any ice, no matter how cold. Search for it, small fry. And that's all the info I've got to offer. If you want to hear it again, you'll have to throw some more bait. Okay, that's cool. I got you, freaking fry. I got you, fry. <laughs> that's just what the fish is. That's the fish's version for bro. <laughs> all right. Looks like outset's starting to come into view. I can see the trees up there. I can see that little, the same woods and the same bridge where poor Arrow was kidnapped. But now, it said we gotta go to the back of the island. So, well, behind is where the kind of the trees were. So that's where we're headed. And this part is actually one of my favorite parts of the whole game. I guess maybe not. Oh, that, maybe not that. Oh, what the heck? I just warped over the. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, whatever you want to say, King of Red Lions. Uh, have you noticed, Linked? Morning has not broken since we arrived at Great Fish Isle. The, le uh, the, le the land was so ravaged by monsters, it's as if time itself is frozen. Perhaps this is a curse that Valu spoke of. Whatever the reason, if this night does not end, then we need not worry about the pirates overtaking us. And uh, In fact, it might not be a bad idea for you to visit your hometown and fail me again after such a long uh, time away. You can speak with Jaboon after you do. Okay, sure. Why not? We can go see how Grandma's doing. And actually, um, I don't know if it'll be available as of right now. However, there is a side quest to do with Grandma... Um, and it's relatively short, and we can actually complete it right now, so let's see if we can go do that, actually. You go talk to Grandma. Alright, Grandma. How you doing? Oh, Look at her. She's just... She's just sitting there with a little... little blanket thing. Oh, are you cold? It is raining outside. Look at the rain. Look at that. It's storming out there. Grandma, are you doing okay? Oh, uh... Thank Carol. Don't go. Don't leave. Don't leave your poor old grandma all alone. <laughs> Aw, poor grandma. Ah, that's so sad. She's just lonely. I don't know if this will do it. However, I don't know if we can actually do it right now, but I'll risk it. This fairy in a bottle I was actually saving just for grandma, so hopefully it'll work. Come on, fairy. Do my bidding. All right, come on, and... There we go. The fairy helps out Grandma! There we go. Help out Grandma, little fairy. Oh, poor Grandma. Oh, you doing better? Oh! Oh, Link, is that you, Link? Grandma is always happy to see your bright, shining face. Link, my dear, sweet Link. You're safe. That's wonderful. Just wonderful. Look at the photograph of Link and Errol over there. Aw. Did you do this? Did you heal me? Oh, you're such a sweet child. Oh, oh, that's right. You and your sister Errol are trying so hard to be strong, and I've just, uh, and I've just been sitting here moaning and worrying. I'm your grandmother. I'm the one who should be taking care of you. I'm so sorry, Link. I haven't even considered what my, uh, what you must be going through. I'm a terrible grandma. Oh, don't say that. You are so sweet. Link, this is all I can give you right now. You can keep it in your empty bottle. Oh yes, the most broken item in the game, the elixir soup. Yes, indeed. This hearty soup your grandmother makes uh, uh, replenishes all of your life energy and magic power. Your attack power also doubles until the first time you take damage. Now that is one hearty soup. And your kind old grandmother filled your bottle so uh, filled your bottle so full that there's two helpings inside. Isn't she the sweetest? Indeed, she is. This is the most broken item in the game. Broken healing item, I guess. Uh, you and your sister love this soup, don't you? If you run out, I can make it for you anytime you like. And it's free, that's the best part. Grandma's going to try to be strong. Oh, okay, I didn't even get to finish that. So you be strong too, uh, but don't do anything reckless, all right? <laughs> yeah, 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 dude, yeah. <laughs> there we go, Grandma's looking better, that's good. Ooh. My dear sweet Link, whenever you have an empty bottle, you just bring it straight to Grandma. I can make more soup for you whenever you like. Aw, look at that. She's like even making it right in that little pot over there. Yeah, all right, let's save that soup for later. That soup is gonna be super helpful. Um, and some, uh, like, current, uh, like, it's not current fights, it's all, some later fights. It's gonna be really helpful. That soup is, like, super broken. Because not only does it, like, heal us and heal our magic power, but it also gives us double attack power. So, like, it's just so broken. And, like, there's, like, <laughs> with that soup and, like, all the end game items, you can become completely broken and just destroy, like, everything. Um, are you ready? If that is the case, then you must search for the cave around the backside of Outset, where Jaboon is set to hide. All right. You got it, kingly boy. Let's set sail to the backside of Outset. I got my bombs ready, so, you know, I'm ready to take aim whenever we need to. I think it's on the actual other side of this, so we might have to switch the wind. Now we can just cruise. 
we can just oh here we go see that see the current oh here we go here we go here we go here we go i'm ready i'm ready for it the one the only this is not actually one only here we go i love this dude i freaking love this all right i'm ready where are you dude oh never mind okay i was wrong okay i actually just have to um fire the thing i thought i did something else my bad okay i was mistaken so the one and the only big fat wall thing i'm gonna have to shoot it with some big old bombs here we go fire fire please don't miss okay yeah we, the thing is like we have a limited amount of time so we just gotta like fire as much as we can come on come on break the freaking wall break the freaking wall jaboon i'm gonna need that pearl of yours dude there we go that's part of the wall that's good all right two more two third that's one third down i guess so two thirds left to go i was terribly spaced come on come on there we go one more one more one more all right i think we might be able to get it i think we got it on this time around please don't miss don't miss don't miss don't miss don't miss don't miss i'm missing so much i'm gonna run out of okay i didn't run out of bombs there we go yes jaboon i'm invading your freaking hideout there we go ah <sighs> okay i thought something else was gonna happen basically we'll, we'll see that current um once again some other time i just realized i have a bug bite on my index finger and it's really bothering me now ah i don't want to scratch it no don't scratch don't scratch look at this epic cave dude there's like scooby night 100 frights in here um Jaboon, where are you, dude? Oh, he had um. <laughs> Jaboon, bro. Highly in language that I'm gonna have to translate again. Uh, well met, in uh, well met indeed, Jaboon. I am pleased to see that you are safe. No, no, I don't. I'm not. It just like sounds like he's suffering. <laughs> Um, yes, it seems that Ganon has returned. There could be no other explanation. I need some... Bruh, I need some freaking cough drops! <laughs> Unfortunately, that is not so. Yeah, but you freaking... You're a freaking king, so you should have some, right? Like, just go buy some! <laughs> the one I have brought with me has no connection to the legendary one. And yet I sense great promise in the courage that this one possesses. Really? Well, what about my freaking medicine? I freaking dying over here. I don't even know what I'm supposed to say, dude. I do. It is the only way for me to survive. For me to get my freaking medicine. This cough is really bad, dude. You'd hate if you had this cough. Ah, oh, fine. All right, whatever. I'm just gonna give you a freaking pearl. I'll, I'll trade it for the cough medicine. How does, how does that sound? Here, catch. It's in my freaking lantern. <laughs> catch. <laughs> Uh, I mean, I don't really have to even try and catch it. It kind of floats on right down to me. There we go. Nehru, I believe? Is this that one? Nehru? Yes, Nehru's Pearl. The water spirit Jaboon was kind enough to give you this jewel as a, tre a treasure of one of the goddesses. He didn't give it to me. We traded it for cough medicine. All right. Um, is that all? Kingy? King boy? He's, he's just cruising on out of there? Um, okay. Hey. I expect that cough medicine on my desk by tomorrow morning, okay, King Man? Ah, so that foul rain and endless night were indeed elements of a curse brought on by Ganon. He must intend to cast this land into pure darkness for all time. Uh, dude, did you even listen to anything I just said? I mean, I'm looking for the medicine, dude. I don't care about the freaking curse. I'm just gonna die over here. You can all go die if you want. I don't care about any curse. I just need medicine. I believe I have. <laughs> Frick you! I want my medicine! I hate you, King League, dude! Screw you, die! <laughs> Alright, I'm going by. <laughs> I'm going to get cough medicine on my own. Alright, um... By the way, what was he saying? <laughs> uh, Ganon's curse has been broken by the power of the pearl that Jaboon gave us. So morning should come soon. It is well that we have gathered all the pearls. Are you ready, Link? I have marked the places where we, we must mis uh, we must set the pearls on your sea chart. Once you have placed each of the pearls in its proper location, the proving grounds for your courage will become apparent. Clearly, the search for, J uh, for Jaboon has shown that Ganon has begun to make efforts to block our path forward. It is certain that the perils ahead will be greater than any you have faced thus far. You should finish any business that you have on here on outset right now, so that you shall not have any regrets later. Okay, I mean, I think I'll actually do that because... Uh, I think I'm gonna end off the episode right here. We got all three of our cool epic pearls. And now that we do that, we can go and continue on with our quest. However, 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 there are quite a few little side quests that I want to do. And I don't know if all of them are available, but I want to see if I can do some of them. So I think in the next episode, we're going to see if we can do some side quests. Um, specifically at Windfall Island, I believe. I want to try and do some side quests at Windfall Island because there's quite a lot. Main, the main thing I want to do is 
with this boy right here, you see this thing that I'm swooshing on around the screen? Yeah, I want to upgrade that to make it colorful. Um, because that side quest is pretty bad. I really don't like that side quest. There's like, there's quite a few side quests in Wind Waker, and there's also just like side missions, I guess. I don't really know how to explain the two. I'll probably explain it in the next episode. Um, that's just how I call them. But basically, side quests, there are two in this game that I really, really don't like, and one of them we'll probably do in the next one because it's super tedious and long. Um, so, but don't worry, I'll, I'll like edit through it to make it less tedious. With the editing, it'll go by in a flash, but like, for my own time, it'll be like 20 minutes of just tedious time. But you know what? I'll see you all in the next episode, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Look at that constellation. Yo, is that the freaking Dipper? I didn't know they had. I didn't even notice that. I do, I do some more freaking stargazing. Let's go look at the stars, actually. We'll end off this episode. Surprised I don't even remember that. That looks really cool. Look at all these constellations. I feel like there's maybe like a map that has constellations. Anyway, I guess I'll see you all in the next episode, everybody. Ah, <sighs> have a great day. Can't wait for those side quests. Bye-bye.